Hi, this is Pascal Kapadia with Global Voices. I am sitting here with a gentleman named Temur Meza. Uh, he's been an explorer, an avid off-roader all his life. Uh, seen some adventures in his lifetime, but we're not going to talk about those today. Temur, hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, why don't you tell us about uh, the topic that we're here to discuss today? And uh, you've been living in Karachi for a period of how long? Born here, lived all my life. And that's how long? 62 today. So tell us uh, about the disabled access in this country and the access for physically challenged people in this city specifically. And what are your experiences according to that? Practically nothing here. Yes, there are some people who are doing, but uh, this city is like uh, spread out over 50 kilometers right. from one end to the other. So there is a group of people on the other side of the town who have their own center for the disabled people and I know the president of uh, that uh, association as well. But if you happen to live in the area where I am, things are totally different. There's no access for a wheelchair. There's, uh, no place to take your kid into a park or anything. So you've got to make do or devise ways and means of doing things for your child only within the four walls of your home. And uh, let's make it clear that you live in a posh part of town. You're, you're actually a resident of the Seaview yeah. Township, uh, right opposite the sea. Yeah. AS DHA, which is known as the posh part of Karachi. And still you're saying that there is no disabled or uh, handicapped access in any of these restaurants and... Uh, Nothing. Thing. No. But there are a few restaurants and in the new, for instance, the new Dolman Shopping Mall has handicapped access, right? Yeah. But uh, again, when uh, a child has gone through so much of uh, trauma and now into a grown-up man and being alone most of the time, he's too shy to go out there anymore. Right. I mean, we try and force him and take him along with us, but... Uh, and when you, say, when you say child, you're talking about your son, Sharia. Yeah, yeah Sharia is 23 years old. He's a full-grown man. Right. He weighs over 170 pounds. So to be able to help him up in, at 62, at my age, it's a bit difficult handling him because he is virtually like dead weight only. And uh, to take, put him into the car, take him off the car, put him into the wheelchair, I need at least another person with me, more healthier and more younger person who is able to lift him up and put him in the wheelchair, so to speak. So it's only when that person, our driver, who's been there since he was a little baby, he's there, only then we can take him. If I was to take him alone, I can't do that. And what about the educational situation? Are there schools for such kids uh, in Karachi? Because we hear a lot about these NGOs operating special schools for special children. I He used to be in the mainstream school. He used to go to Bayview Academy. And then uh, we realized that, you know, it was difficult for him to continue there and he fell down once and, you know, we decided that's enough, you know, he can't uh, continue there. So a friend of my wife's, she started a school. She used to first uh, just give uh, extra tuitions in the afternoon and she decided that she's going to start a school in the morning from say 9 o'clock till 12 o'clock and Shariar was the first uh, child in that school and very soon after that there were about 25-30 kids in that school as people found out and it was just by way of word of mouth that people found out and uh, then finally, Sharia said that I'm too grown up for that place now. He went there for almost what, five, six years. And uh, then uh, he decided, okay, I just can't wait.